Hi guys and girls, what's going on? Buddy Blackford here with another Photoshop CS6 tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're gonna start creating uh, with creating a new document. And I'm going to uh, give you a little bit more information than I did last time about creating a document with the different um, color modes and things like that mean. <clears throat> so the first thing we're gonna do is come up to File. And we're gonna come over here to New and control n is the hotkey for creating a new document so let's hit new and then we'll get our new document menu now before you even start working in photoshop you need to figure out and pre-plan what you're actually going to make so there's a couple of things that you need to think of during the uh planning process you need to think of what is my um, image or my design going to be used on so for instance is it going to be used on full is it going to be used on the web is it going to be used on print mobile or on video because um, the <clears throat> different types of color modes and resolution and everything like that is going to be different when you're working with those types of media for example when you're creating things online you need a uh, resolution of 72 pixels per inch and an RGB color mode but when you're working for commercial print you need 300 pixels per inch and the color mode is going to be CMYK so these are the kind of things you need to ask yourself you need to figure out um, the size of the uh, the object or the, of the project, your resolution, your color mode, your background, um, the color profile, which is uh, down here in the advanced section, um, and then you're gonna have to um, think of the pixel aspect ratio that you need, and uh, most of the time you are going to be able to leave this at square pixels but there's other times when you're not now a pixel if you're if you're wondering what that is a pixel is just a unit of information that holds color detail in an image and uh, Photoshop works with uh, documents that are composed of pixels and each of these pixels is going to have like the color detail in it just like I said so we're, not, we're you're going to have to pre-plan what you're doing that way when you're working on the image it you don't have to go back and do it again for example this one time I was asked to create a logo for um, a person that does photography and they needed a new logo for their photography business and what I did was I created them a logo that would be good on a, a website because that's what they mainly wanted it for then they decided um, later on that they wanted this logo to be printed onto some of their uh, fo onto their photographs so she could have her logo on some of the fo photographs well you can't use 72 um, pixels per inch resolution so I had to redo it over again and uh, make it into a 300 pixels per inch resolution and I uh, just want to make sure that you get everything right so you don't have to do that um, I learned the hard way, so I'm hopefully telling you guys so you figure out um, the easy way and don't have to do that again. And then you can always keep track of your image, how big your uh, image size is here. And this is in megabytes, 24 megabytes for this one. So that's pretty, uh, pretty nice there. So let's go over selecting uh, your color modes and uh, resolution and things like that because I just went over those for a little while I mean I you probably understand the width and height um, it just just the size the dimensions of your object of your image so let's go into resolution and to uh, the color mode so let's start with the color mode first and uh, color mode has also been been called a uh, color space and it determines how Photoshop uh, displays and prints your image so you can choose uh, from a few different color modes here. <clears throat> We've got bitmap, grayscale, RGB, CMYK, and lab. Now I'm just going to talk about grayscale, RGB. I'm going to talk about the last four 
because I never have used bitmap before. Um, we might come back to it at a later time, but this doesn't seem like something I need to go over with you guys right now. <clears throat> so grayscale is the best for black and white or duotone images. And it uses uh, just one channel, and that channel has um, 256 shades of gray in it. So not like that crazy book. I didn't read it, but I heard it was uh, pretty graphic. If you know what I'm talking about, 50 shades of gray. Well, this has 256 shades of gray, so you can see how graphic this will get. Uh, yeah, yeah, dumb joke, I know. Oh, well. Uh, let's go to the next one we've got. Uh, the next one we can pick is RGB. And uh, RGB stands for red, green, and blue. And this is the best for online and uh, multimedia color images. So red, green, and blue are the primary images on your monitor. So that's why it's best for online. 